welcome back to the channel where we give you daily and weekly updates on what's going on inside the crypto space whether it's ideos token analysis but more specifically nft drops that's what we are going to be talking today and the first half of 2021 NFT sales rose to a record of $2.5 billion, but recently following a $300 million Series C funding round, OpenSea enters the new year with a $13.3 billion evaluation. Uh, valuation, excuse me. That's far from July 2020, um, where they sat at a $1.5 billion uh, valuation. We can see today. Um, the market is still currently down. Bitcoin um, in a seven-day period has dropped 12%. Ethereum has dropped 15%. Um, <clears throat> uh, it currently, it looks like coins are starting to get back into the green um, just a little bit. Solana sitting at $143. BNB sitting at uh, $447. Um, Cardano at $1.21, XRP at $0.75, cents. Terra Luna is currently sitting at $67, and AVAX at $83, and we'll just show SHIB uh, at $2,800. So guys, today, um, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index is extremely 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 low it hasn't been this low since july of last year scroll up we can see we're currently sitting at a fear index of 10 um historical values um you can see last month we were in 29 so kind of creeping up towards you know starting to get a little bit more bullish but currently right now if we're just going off the fear and greed index we are looking bearish even though we are not bearish you can see when we go through these low periods of greed or fear it doesn't take long for high periods or for high uh increases into the greed where it goes from fear being all the way down to 28 uh just a couple uh, months later going all the way up into 78 you can see here and of um, the beginning of March where we had a uh, index of 16 and we pumped all the way up to mid-August at a 83 so I do think with us being where we are at currently it is not going to be long before we see um, an exponential upside growth for Ethereum which will be great for NFTs. OpenSea market volume um, has been the highest it has ever been since September of last year. Uh, with all the, the influencers and tier one stars coming in and really um, increasing their exposure in the NFT space, it definitely has done great things for the NFT sector. Um, just in October alone, uh, and I'm about to get into how I feel um, the Coinbase NFT platform is going to just give us massive growth in the NFT sector. If you think about it, there's only a couple hundred thousand people um, around the globe worldwide who actually hold an NFT in their wallet currently. And most of those people are, you know, multi-wallet holders with multiple NFTs and spread out across multiple wallets on different platforms, whether it's through Trust Wallet, MetaMask, etc. Um, so you guys are still super early. Um, I don't think we're going to see any major, major mass adoption until about mid this year. Maybe Q2, we'll start to see some. But I think, I mean, if you look at Coinbase's users between 2018 and 2021, um, it went from 20 million users to 60 million users, right? Um, <clears throat> When Coinbase integrates their NFT platform, and hopefully the UX designers do a great job and make it easy and accessible for people who are a little more computer illiterate, um, I think that will have a major plus and major use case for the sector. Um, but with 
Coin Coin uh Coinbase having so many users worldwide, um, and then integration of their NFT platform upcoming this year, um, early this year. Uh, I think that is going to just explode the NFT space in the coming months. Um, and if you don't know about NFTs or you're not too familiar with the crypto space, I do have a video for that, as well as there's other influencers and crypto YouTubers who give very valuable information. I do want to start off by saying this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Um, anything I say or any other YouTuber for that matter says, don't ever take it for facts. Know that the crypto market is extremely volatile. You can make a lot of money, but you can also lose every penny. So be mindful of that. Um, looking at ETH right now, uh, we're still in, you know, obviously this price correction, this massive downside mood that we've been having. But I do think we're about to see some upside, um, like I showed you with the, uh, the fear and index over time. It doesn't take long for, for where we go from, you know, 12, 9, 11, back up to 50%. Following that, we'll have a small consolidation back up to 80% small uh downside move way back up to 92 percent so i think that the time period that we are in right now is a great time to start getting some funds together start allocating some money and getting it ready to be put into nfts because this is going to be an explosive rest of the month as well as february so guys without further ado i'm not going to waste any more of your time let's get into today's project and that is invisible friends check the artwork out right here guys like this fits in line with culture this gives me like doodle cool cats mixed with roboto vibes like this is definitely going to be a big project um basically invisible friends uh they're this is their site, InvisibleFriends.io. You can see we're still hiding in the metaverse, dropping February 2022. Until then, join us on Twitter and Discord. My Discord is still in shambles, guys, so I am sorry about that. Um, but the last time I checked, they were sitting around a quarter million followers on Discord. If we go to their Instagram, they currently have 16.1 thousand followers, which is amazing because a lot of these um, NFT projects, their Twitters and Discords might be popping, but their fucking Instagram has like 2,000 followers, right? Not these guys. They have definitely built a solid community uh, for this little anime video or animation video, sorry. I really like the artwork guys I really like just off the artwork alone I feel like this is a good project um, but on Twitter you can see they have a hundred and eighty three thousand followers uh, <clears throat> so far so good um, they, they do have whitelist spots still available um, how you can get whitelisted is obviously good nft projects bring good community right which brings good exposure which brings good profits so they're really focusing on building a solid community a solid backing community of this project um they will release mid to late january um the whitelist opportunities are given out to valuable community members and you might ask yourself how do you become valuable right how do you become valuable to this project to get a secured whitelist spot because if anybody hasn't said it yet this is going to be a half an ETH floor as soon as it hits secondary these are going to sell out within minutes and as soon as they hit secondary i guarantee you and mind you this is all opinion based this is not factual i do not know the fucking future i have no clue i could be totally wrong here but i'm gonna say it's gonna be in half e floor as soon as it hits secondary um and from then 
who knows uh we will get into the team but uh as far as whitelist spots go and how you can bring value to achieve a whitelist spot um if you're an artist they do have competitions on their discord you can create gifts or memes um as well as just uh engaging and helping newcomers on their discord platform um as well as invisible friends is a uh nft animation initiative project right um they started off with slim hoods and they did change their discord name from slim hoods to random character collectives right so you can think of slim hoods kind of as the genesis drop of this team um the leading artist was james Cron, which has uh he has about a hundred thousand maybe ninety one thousand followers on insta the last time i checked it could have went up by now from all the hype of this new upcoming project invisible friends i do not know um but he did curl or he did have ninety one thousand followers on instagram he was the lead artist on slim hoods which currently has a price a floor price of 1.45 so almost one and a half eth guys this project did mint and launch in october and as you can see scrolling down to the activity looking at a little data here from october following right up until the release of their second project which was mood rollers we'll get into that in a second they 10x their floor guys just right here off this project alone in a month so if you guys were able to mint and get um a couple of these or even just one you would be sitting very nice right now from where you initially got in going into december they followed up with a second project called mood rollers who the leading uh, leading artist on this project was Lucas Zanato. This is all random character collective projects, which basically they just collectively team up with animated artists that are very prominent in the space. And one thing I do want to take into consideration is each project that these guys are dropping. Um, the first project with James, he has you know around like I said, ninety to a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. But if you go to Mood Rollers and Lucas uh, Zanato, he has around a hundred and seventy-seven to two hundred thousand followers now. Um, and Invisible Friends by Marcus Magnuson, which is the uh, chief artist on this upcoming project that we are currently talking about he has 186 to 2000 or 200,000 plus instagram followers so as each collection drops the the artists are getting more prominent right they are and guys like uh these are artists that have their own companies that have portfolio um productions with disney ebay um just to name a few so these guys are definitely um valued in the space they are definitely some of the best in the animation niche and you can see that uh on mood rollers again a 10x right a 10x floor and i think the main reason for this is invisible friends did um kind of leak some info that if you want to get a whitelist spot you can secure um a uh nft from their two previous collections slim hood and mood rollers and that will potentially gain you a secured whitelist spot <clears throat> the date is to be announced so this is going to definitely be a stealth drop there is no idea on price as of right now which i think just increases the exposure to this project you can see the community is definitely there the discord is definitely there the engagement on every single one of their tweets is there um like let's go to you know Some of the giveaways, if I can find them, and check this out, guys. All aboard, uh, Uriel 40 or Uriel 40. 
um i'm dreaming about invisible land 2033 get me on that bing bong boat so there is definitely some utility that they are kind of leaking out and not really giving the community too much um insight to i am not on their discord i am definitely trying to secure a whitelist spot um i think it would be wise for you guys to do the same um as far as utility and the future use cases, um, I have no clue, but I do think that just just off the strength of their previous projects 10xing within a month, and I think most of that comes from securing a whitelist spot for this project, I think this is going to be an easy 20 to potentially 50x. 10x off the bat i believe within a month um because this project has definitely built more hype than their, their previous projects that they have dropped and so it just gives me more bullish vibes on this project but i will drop a link to all their socials and their discord uh twitter instagram um their site etc but make sure to follow me on Twitter um, at FOMO underscore apes. Uh, follow me on Insta, FOMO underscore apes. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this content. We will keep you updated with the latest drops and NFT drops coming up soon. Um, 